Hi everybody! In this example, we are going to learn a technique to draw a cloud like this. First of all, let's analyze the basic shapes of the cloud. The cloud has a flat bottom, and the rest of the cloud consists of circles. We're going to keep this in mind in the construction phase. But first, let's add the background. I'm going to do this using the gradient tool. The gradient tool is a tool which we haven't seen yet, so I'm quickly going to describe it before we get started. We can easily draw gradients by selecting the color and clicking and dragging on the canvas. On the left we have the gradient editor. By default it's set from foreground on the one end to transparent on the other end. Other options include foreground to background and all sorts of preset gradients. We can also add a custom gradient by clicking on Add down here. For now, I'm going to set the gradient editor to foreground, foreground to background, and I'm going to set the background color to cyan. and I'm going to set the brush color to a deeper blue. I select the background layer, and I draw the line from top to bottom. I hold down Shift to ensure that the line remains vertical. Next, I'm going to create a construction layer. Remember, we have a straight bottom, so I'm just going to draw a straight line here. And I draw a bunch of circles and ellipses, which will later become the fluffy parts of the cloud. This shape is quite simple, so in this case I'm going to skip the sketching phase, and I'm going to start inking. When I draw the bottom, straight line. Ideally, I want to draw it in one line. So I zoom out and I rotate the canvas. I quickly, accurately and smoothly draw the line. It takes me a few times to get it right. Press Ctrl Z to undo any lines you don't like. Next, I draw the circle parts of the cloud. There's no way I'm going to be able to draw these lines exactly, so I'm just going to aim to get the gist of it. More important is that the line is smooth and quite round, and doesn't have to follow the construction lines exactly. Phew, finished. The sweat is actually dripping <laughs> from my brow. Next, I want to color in the cloud. I'm going to use the contiguous selection tool. First of all, I'm going to make all the other layers invisible. Under Grow Shrink selection, I want to increase the grow fill by uh, one or two pixels. That way, there's not going to be any gap between the selection and the lines. Next, I add a new layer. I make sure the layer is below the lines. I change the background color to a blue-gray. And I change the foreground color to a light blue-gray. Now, when I draw the gradient within the selection, only the selected part gets filled up by the gradient. As a final step, I'm going to take my airbrush, and I'm going to set the color very light. I'm going to add some spots around on my cloud.
Then I lighten the color even more and I decrease the size of my brush and I draw some more spots. As a final step I'm going to blur it out a bit with a color in between and I'm going to lightly brush over the final effect until I get something like this. Try it out, it takes a bit of practicing and getting used to, but that's all for now, see you in the next lesson. Bye bye!